कृते सत्यवती गया त्रेता यम सतपोवती द्वापरे भक्ति का नाम कलौने पालिका पुरी अर्थात सत्ययुग में सत्यवती त्रेता युग में मधुबन द्वापर युग में भक्ति क्षेत्र र कलयुग में नेपाल आमा चिनी हमी संपूर्ण नेपाली नेपाल आमा को सन्तति हो गौरव करद आदरणीय महानुभावर नमस्कार नमो नम नमस्ते आई एंड गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग अकोर्डिंग टू द टाइम ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड आई एम अरुण पौड़ फ्रॉम नागरिक फाउंडेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सेलिब्रेट संस्कृत ओल्ड संस्कृत डे टमोरो अगस्त ट्वेल्थ टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू दिस इज आवर फिफ्थ सेलिब्रेशन आवर रूट एंड लोकस मुमेंट जरो किलो प्रतिष्ठान स्टार्टेड टू सेलिब्रेट ओल्ड संस्कृत डे बिफोर फाइव इयर्स फ्रम टू थाउजेंड एटीन नेपाली संबद दुई फ्रम दुई हजार पचहत्तर रोलि नीति साउन सत्ताइस गते दुई हजार उनासी साल ऋषि तर्पणी जनय पोड़े में रक्षाबंधन को दिन में हमी विश्व संस्कृत दिवस मना गई रह Why we are going to celebrate Sanskrit Day? It is because Sanskrit was originated in Nepal. Rishi Maharshi Panini from Nepal he composed his Sanskrit grammar first time. Astadhyayi Sanskrit grammar from Nepal. I'm. We are proud of him because it became the mother of all the languages of the world. All the linguists, modern linguists, they made as a guide of this Astadhyayi Sanskrit grammar. Sanskrit is such a language which has a large number of vocabulary. including all the languages of the world does not have such a large number of vocabularies sanskrit has 102 or 78 crore 50 lakhs words till now those words can be extended and it has it will have more words in future because words are formed day by day by the users and hundreds of synonyms sanskrit language has for example sanskrit language has more than 95 words for love it has 67 words for water it has 65 words to describe the earth and sanskrit language has 250 words to describe rainfall such an enriched vocabulary sanskrit language has sanskrit language is considered one of the most oldest language all over the world sanskrit language is the mother language of all the languages all over the world like french spanish latin portuguese nepali hindi maithili newari and all the other languages of the world were influenced 75% from sanskrit 75% words are borrowed from sanskrit so sanskrit is the mother language mother language of all the languages of the world so we are proud of to be the follower of sanskrit to have our native language to have our mother tongue as sanskrit and sanskrit language has innovative perception it is an innovative language most suitable language for computer the researcher of nasa has proved that sanskrit has such a systematic technical 
mathematical formula and algorithm to use for computer language. So, Sanskrit must be improved and Sanskrit must be learned by all the people in this modern world. My dear ladies and gentlemen, Vedic and Vedic period and classical period. There are two periods in Sanskrit language. In Vedic period, like Rig Ved, Ejur Ved, Sam Ved, Athara Ved, Mahabharat, Bhagavad Gita, and 18 Purans were composed. And in classical period, other literature, other different types of literature, Ramayana, Mahabharata, and more literature, drama, poetry, essay, novels were created, composed by the literary figures. So, Sanskrit should be learned. Why? Why should we learn Sanskrit? We should learn Sanskrit because it consists of 52 letters, 36 consonant and 16 vowels letters we have in Sanskrit. It has very much intact, compact relationship between word formation and pronunciation. Other languages do not have word formation and pronunciation at the same time. For example, in English, if we say F-U-T-U-R-E, Future, N-U-T-U-R-E, Nuture, that too will not match. It has future and nature. So, English does not have relationship with pronunciation and word formation, but Sanskrit has natural form. So, it is classical language, it has musical, musical quality. That's why Sanskrit contains 3,959 systematized rule which was composed by our Maharshi Panini. It is very much scientific. With a few words, we can express a large numbers of vocabulary. More than 1,000 words can be told, can be expressed through two, three uh, words in Sanskrit. Janati Bivida Bhasa Janati Bivida Kala Atmanam Shana Janati Yona Janati Sanskritam It means if the person knows all the languages of the world, he knows or she knows all the poetries, all the dramas, all the novels, all the essays, all the literature of the world. If he or she does not know Sanskrit, then he or she does not know about the soul, about the Paramatma, about the God, about this nature, who am I, why I was born. He or she cannot find out profoundly. So it is must necessary to know the language, Sanskrit. Then after we can study about this peripheral world and the inner world, our soul. That is why all the religious books, scriptures, including Hindus, Buddhist, Jainism, Bon, all Chinese, all philosophies were first time written in Sanskrit language. And later on it were later on they were translated into different languages. That is why we have to go to the root. If you know the root, then you can explain, you can explore in your own words, in your own language, in your own style. That is why we have to learn the root. We have to learn Sanskrit. To bring consciousness, to bring renasa, to bring rebirth in learning Sanskrit, knowing Sanskrit, exploring Sanskrit, we, all the followers, all the founders, people, all the members of Zorokilo Pratishtan, the root and locus movement and root and locus foundation. We have been celebrating Sanskrit, all Sanskrit day for five years since 2000, 
airing and this is our fifth air tomorrow august 12 2022 on the auspicious occasion of receive tarpani purnima raksha bandhan purnima anu we are going to celebrate our founder yugdrashta guru dr nirmal mani adhikari he has composed and he has organized such a great profound celebration program including different literary figure different learned people vidwan from 30 countries all over the world including india including nepal india pakistan england uh, england britain america canada australia and different countries of the world and learned people vidwan from there they will give their view they will express their view on the day and we the root and locus foundation charakula pratishthan we are going to honor we are going to provide award to professor dr virgaraj kimere on his contribution in sanskrit language sanskrit literature on his research on aruni sanskrit research and another the, the youth dr rohini raj timil sina for his contribution he has translated our step nation theory into sanskrit language so our movement our foundation will provide them some grant and some honor award that award will be continued from the days to come every year we review and according to the evaluation of the vidwan of the learned people of the gurus and every year we will provide 1 lakh nepalese rupees every year to the researcher fellowship in sanskrit language this is our one of the best foundation to honor to award the people the learned people gurus who who does research on sanskrit language literature and so on that's why i would like to request all the people who are linguists who are teachers who are students who are researchers who are politicians who are doctor engineer pilot all the people all over the world from all sectors artist please let's join in the celebration to celebrate our old sanskrit day to be first time we have proof we can defend if any country claims to be the first in sanskrit language it is our defend that rishi muni panini was from arga khati district of nepal and he wrote first sanskrit grammar astadhyay from nepal that is why nepal is the origin place of sanskrit language and we are proud to be native of sanskrit and it is our claim and we will move forward to establish all sanskrit day from nepal in the days to come thank you have a nice day all of you are welcome welcome and welcome